Oh, hi guys, this is Mr. Rego. Welcome back to our series, Beat the Test. Review for the geometry and of course exam. Okay, we're up question number 30. Let's go. Find each of the following angles and arcs formed in circle K. Okay, so they gave me uh, this figure. I gotta find all of this. All right, so um, let's look at them. All right, a couple of things. First of all, so angle K, K, B, C, uh, K, B, C, oh, okay. K, B, C. They ask me for this angle. So guys, let me tell you, when I have a, a tangent line on the outside, a point that has a tangent line to the circle, this tangent line makes a 90 degree with this radius. This tangent line makes a 90 degree with this radius. So angle K, B, C is 90 degrees because it's a tangent line. So these two are perpendicular to each other. Okay, angle B, B, K, D, B, K, D. All right, so asking for this angle. This angle is called central angle and is the same measure as the measure of this arc. This arc is 148, therefore my central angle is 148, which is angle B, K, D, all right? Let me clean this up. Uh, next, angle, oh, I erased the whole thing. Sorry about that. So next, angle B, C, D, B, C, D. Where's B, C, D? B, C, D, okay, here we go. So angle B, C, D, all right? Angle B, C, D has a formula. This angle is half. So angle B, C, D, measure of angle B, C, D is half of the measure of major arc. Okay, I think we're gonna uh, keep this for the end. So B, C, D is half of the major arc. Look at this. Let me go back to that thing. Okay, half. BCD is right here. Okay, angle BCD. So these two points divide the whole circle into a minor arc, which is 148. This what this is a minor arc, 148, and it divides the, the circle into a major arc, which is the rest of it. Okay, so when I'm looking for this angle, this angle is half of the difference between the major arc, major arc minus the minor arc, which is 148 in this case. Okay, so what happened with the major? So again, these two points divide the whole circle into a major and a minor. This angle is half of the major minus the minor. How do I know how much is the whole thing? I don't only have 116. How much do I know if the whole how much is this whole thing? I do 360 minus what I know. And what I know is 148. And that's gonna give me the remaining arc. So 360 minus 148 is gonna give me 212 degrees. So arc B A D. Let's hold on. Oh arc 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 uh, BAD is 212 okay so 212 minus 148 so let's keep going half 212 minus 148 is 64 and now half of 64 is 32 degrees so BCD is 32 degrees by the way all of these are angles BCD half of major arc minus minor arc okay let's go b a d where's b a d b a d oh inscribe angle got it so b a d let's erase a little bit okay here we go b a d i'm sorry they're asking for angle so it's b a d this angle how much is this angle 
So what happens is the following, guys. That angle is touching my circle. You see? It's touching my circle right here. It's not a central angle. It's touching my circle. So this angle is called an inscribe angle. And this inscribe angle is half. This inscribe angle is half. Let me get a red. This angle is half of, look, my two sides of the angle, the two sides of the angle are touching this arc. The two sides of the angle are touching this arc. The inscribe angle is half of this arc. So BAD is half of 148. It's half of 148, which is, a, it, which is 74 degrees. BAD is half of my arc, okay, because it's called an inscribe angle. Next, arc AB. AB, 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 here we go. So AB, AB is this arc, minor arc AB, okay. So, but remember, what do we say? That this whole thing was 212. This whole thing was 212. But from here to here is 116. So if the whole thing is 212 and this is 116, if I subtract 212 minus 116, it's going to give me the measure of this arc. And 216, 216, 216, I'm sorry, 212, 212 minus, it's going to give me 96. Let me double check my math. So yes, it gives me 96 degrees. Okay. Again, it's 212 minus 116. Last but not least, ABD. So this is, hold on, this is 96, we just said. Degrees. Now let's do arc ABD. Where's A? Here's A. A, B, D. So I'm going this direction. Okay. So I'm going from A to B all the way to D. Okay. So how much is that major arc? It's 96 plus 148. 96 plus 148 gives me 244. Wow, a bunch of arcs, a bunch of good stuff anyway. All right, guys, let's go to the next one. Very nice problem. Okay, there's a question number. There's a question number 31. Here we go. So we have question 31. Okay. All set up. Excellent. So let's read. Quadrilateral of B, C, D, E is inscribed in circle A. Okay. Quadrilateral. Okay. Uh, diagonals. Let's get this. Quadrilateral B, C, D is inscribed in circle A. Diagonals B, D, and E, C intersect at point F. Okay. Select the angles and value that would make the same and true about the quadrilateral. All right, guys. So the main property about quadrilaterals is the following. When I have a quadrilateral inscribed, by the way, inscribed means inside. You see? B, C, D, E. Where's B? So let me get a straight segment. That. Hey, let me get this. So B, C, right? C, D, D, E. So this is the quadrilateral that I'm talking about. That's inscribed my circle. When the quadrilateral is inscribed my circle, what happens is opposite angles, opposite angles are supplementary. Opposite angles, all right, those two are supplementary. This angle, let me put the dot, is supplementary to this angle, right? Opposite angles are supplementary, which means uh, angle B, measure of angle D, plus measure of angle D, is going to give me 180. All right, what about the other two? Measure of angle E, plus measure of angle C, is equal to 180. 
they're supplementary okay so let's see oh okay i see 180 all right all right all right all right cool so what's going on with this i have uh an angle here saying that is equal to 180 minus another angle okay so let's see edc edc all right guys so so let's call this thing. I have EBF, EB, oh, EBF, where, oh, this is F over here. This is F. Oh, no, that's not the angle that we're talking about. Okay, no. So, no. What we're looking for is angles, the whole angle. EBF is this little angle. No, that doesn't help. No, that doesn't help. EDC, EDC, all right, the big angle. EDC, this big angle. So this could be an answer. EDC is equal to is equal to 180 because they're supplementary. So EDC, let's get it with a different color. Let's get it with black. This angle. So we know what we're talking about. Is equal to 180 minus the other angle okay because here let me put it like this i'm looking for you I'm, I'm, i want to leave the uh, angle d by itself so i subtract measure of angle d minus measure of angle d okay so measure of angle d which i have here is angle e d c this is the same as angle <clears throat> e d c which is equal to 180 minus the other angle but angle b is angle e b a b c or c b e i don't know how they call it e b c oh here we go e b c so in other words if two angles if the sum of two angles equals 180 then i can say that one of the angles is equal to 180 minus the other angle so one of the angles Angle EDC is equal to 180. EDC is 180 minus the other angle. And your angle is EBC, which is angle B. So this is the relationship that they want. Select the angles and values that would make the statement true about quadratic BC. Everything started saying because opposite angles of a quadrilateral that is inscribed are supplementary. Okay? All right. Not too bad, not too bad. Uh, <clears throat> we can check all the ones. Let's check out the rest of it. EDF. EDF. Again, they're just giving me this piece on the inside. Doesn't work. CFB. C F B. They're talking about the angle on the inside here. Uh, nope. F E D. F E D. This angle. This angle. Uh, nope. Okay. They're talking about quadrilateral. Therefore, I have to talk about the full angle of any of the vertices of my quadrilateral. Not a little piece. Okay. That's the property. The main property, opposite angles are supplementary. Okay, guys. That's it. This is question 31. Again, please, if you found this helpful, like the video, subscribe to the channel. More videos to come. Okay. We're trying to finish the review for geometry for the EOC. All right, as always, subscribe, like the video, that's gonna help us grow our channel and therefore we can reach more people, more students like you, okay? So they need this help as well. All right, guys, thank you very much for watching and stay tuned for the next video. Thank you, take care.